Hello everyone, this is a session on general aptitude and let's start with the first question. A, B, C can complete a work in 18, 45, 30 days respectively. They complete the work together and A has received his share equal to rupees 8120. Find C's share. Okay, it's given that A can complete the work in 18 days. So what would be the efficiency of A? Efficiency means the work completed in one day that is 1 by 18. Now B can complete the work in 45 days. So the efficiency of B would be 1 by 45. C it can complete the work in 30 days. So efficiency of C would be 1 by 30. Now they are working together and A has received his share and we have to find C's share. So the share or the amount received by any person while working together will be equal, will be in the ratio of their efficiencies. So the share received by A is to B is to C will be equal to the ratio of their efficiencies that is 1 by 18 is to 1 by 45 is to 1 by 30. Now we will simplify this ratio that is the LCM of 18, 45 and 30 is 90. So, we will multiply by 90. So, this will be equal to 90 by 18 is to 90 by 45 is to 90 by 30. So, this will be simplified as 5 is to 2 is to 3. So, A is to B is to C is 5 is to 2 is to 3. Now, A's share is given. We have to find C's share. So, we will take the ratio A is to C that is equal to 5 is to 3. So, A by C equal to 5 by 3. And what is A's share? A is 8120. 8120 by C is 5 by 3. Or C equal to 8120 into 3 divided by 5 which is equal to 4872. This is the share received by C. This is the final answer. Next question. In a race of 1200 meter, P can beat Q by 120 meter and in a race of 500 meter, Q can beat R by 100 meters. By how many meters will P beat R in a race of 800 meter? Okay, there is a 1200 meter race, 500 meter race and a 800 meter race. First, we will consider the 1200 meter race. This is 1200 meter and here P beat Q by 120 meter. That is when P has finished the race, Q is behind P by how much? 120 meter. So the distance covered by P is 1200 meters. And what is the distance covered by Q? This will be the distance. That is 1200 minus 120. That is 1080. Now we will take the ratio of these distances. That is P by Q equal to 1200 by 1080. Next, we will take the 500 meter race. So, here this is the 500 meter race and here Q beat R by 100 meters. That is Q has completely covered the distance of 500 meters. That is Q equal to 500 meters. And R is behind Q by 100 meters. This is R. So, what is the distance covered by R? Distance covered by R is equal to 500 minus 100. That is 400 meters. This is the distance covered by R. Now again we will take the ratio Q by R. Q by R equal to 500 divided by 400. That is 5 by 4. This is the second equation. Now next we will take the 800 meter race. So in the 800 meter race it is given that P beat R. That is P has completed the race. And R is behind P by how much meters? It's, it is to be found out. Okay. Now what will be this distance? Distance covered by P will be 800 meters. And distance covered by R is let it be R itself. Okay. Now we will take the ratio P by R equal to 800 by R. This is the third equation. Now we will multiply first and second equation 1 into 2. What was the first equation? P by Q and second is Q by R. That is equal to P by Q is 1200 divided by 1080 into Q by R is 
this is q by r that is 5 by 4. Cancelling this we get p by r equal to this ratio, this uh, if you multiply this we get 50 by 36. 50 by 36. This is the fourth equation. Now we can compare third and fourth equation. P by R equal to 800 by R. P by R equal to 50 by 36. That means 800 by R equal to 50 by 36. Or what is R? R equal to 800 into 36 divided by 50 which is equal to 576. So this is the distance. R is the distance covered by the, the uh, r so we have to find by how much p beat r this distance that is 800 minus 576 so 800 minus 576 which is equal to 224 meter so p beat r by a distance of 224 meter this is the final answer next question if i n equal to 126 P i n equal to 2016. Then how C H i n is coded? Okay. Let's see the alphabet. That is if A is 1, B is 2, C is 3. Similarly, what will be I? I will be the ninth letter. So I is the I is 9. Then what is N? N is the 14th letter. Okay, 14th letter. So what is I n is given as 1, 2, 6. I n equal to 1, 2, 6. Now, if we add 9 and 14, we won't get 126. If we subtract also, we cannot get it. So, what if we multiply 9 and 14? We get 126. So, this relation is multiplication of these numbers. So, again we will see P i n. P is the 16th letter. P is the 16th letter. So, to get P i n, we will multiply P 16, then i 9 and n is 14. So, we get 2016. Okay, this is 2016. Similarly, you can find C h i n. C is the third letter and h is the eighth letter. Then i 9, n is 14. So, we get this as 3024. This is how CHIN is coded. Next question. In an examination, marks obtained by Rohit is 20% less than that of Mohit. The marks obtained by Mohit is how much percentage more than marks obtained by Rohit? That is, marks obtained by Rohit is 20% less than that of Mohit. That means mark, uh, marks obtained by Mohit, let it be X. Okay. Then what is the marks obtained by Rohit? It is 20% less than that of Mohit. That is if Mohit has got X mark, it is 20% less. That is X minus 20% of X. That is X minus 0.2X which is equal to 0.8. Then marks obtained by Mohit is how much percent more than that of Rohit? That is percentage change in mark. Okay. Percentage change in mark is equal to Mohit, marks obtained by Mohit minus that of Rohit divided by R into 100. Since it is percentage, we have multiplied by 100. Where M is X, R is 0.8 divided by 0.8 into 100. This is equal to 0.2 by 0.8 into 100. And that is equal to 25 percentage. If the P, Q and R term of an AP are A, B, C respectively, then the values of A into Q minus R plus B into R minus B plus C into P minus Q is. What is the nth term of an AP? That is A plus N minus 1 into D. Okay. So here P, Q and R term are given as A, B, C. That is, what is the P term? A plus P minus 1 into D. And it is given as A. Since there are two A's present here to avoid confusion, we can take first term as A1. Okay. Now, what is the Qth term? A1 plus Q minus 1 into D. And it is given as B. Then what is the Rth term? AR is A1 plus R minus 1 into D. And it is given as C. Okay. Now what is this equation? A1 plus 
पी डी माइनस डी ईक्वल टू ए दिस इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न ए वन प्लस क्यू डी माइनस डी ईक्वल टू बी एंड दिस इक्वेशन इज ए वन प्लस आर डी माइनस डी ईक्वल टू सी नौ सब ट्रैक वन एंड टू इनकी सब ट्रैक वन एंड टू दैट इज ए वन प्लस पी डी माइनस डी ईक्वल टू ए ए वन प्लस क्यू डी माइनस डी ईक्वल टू बी नौ इफ सब ट्रैक वी गेट पी डी माइनस क्यू डी ईक्वल टू ए माइनस बी और डी इन टू पी माइनस क्यू ईक्वल टू ए माइनस पी ओके वी हैव इन द क्वेश्चन दर इज पी माइनस क्यू टर्म ओके दिस इज द पी माइनस क्यू टर्म टू गेट पी माइनस क्यू वी राइट इट एज ए माइनस बी डिवाइडेड बाई डी एंड इट इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सी सो मल्टीप्लाई दिस टर्म बाई सी बोथ बोथ द साइड मल्टीप्लाई बाई सी दिस इज दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज फोर्थ इक्वेशन Now we'll subtract. This is one minus two. Now we'll do two minus three. What is two? A one plus Q D minus D equal to B. Third question is A one plus R D minus D equal to B. From this we get D into Q minus R equal to this is C. B minus C. Or what is Q minus R? Q minus R equal to B minus C by D. And this term. Q minus R is multiplied by A, so multiply both sides by A. This is the fifth equation. Similarly, we can do three minus two, three minus one. So three minus one. What is the third equation? A plus A one plus R D minus D equal to C. First equation was A one plus P D minus D equal to A. So we get while subtracting we get D into R minus P equal to C minus A. Or R minus P equal to C minus A by D. Okay. So in the question R minus P is multiplied by the term B. Okay. So Multiply both sides by b. That is b into c minus a by d. This is the sixth equation. Now adding four, five, and six. What do we get? What was the fourth equation? Four, five, and six gives a into l. Let us say a into q minus r plus b into r minus p plus c into q p minus q. C into P minus Q, and what was the RHS? B into C minus A by D plus A into B minus C by D plus. Next term was C into A minus B divided by D. Okay, now this is B C minus A B A. B C minus B A. Next term is A B minus A C. A B minus A C. This term is C A minus C B plus C A minus C B. And denominator is D. This is equal to B C C B got cancelled. B A A B got cancelled. A C C A got cancelled. So the final answer is zero. That's all for today. Thank you.